Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. Today we're going to do another Excel lesson, and this time we're going to be using two, I think, highly underrated features in Excel, sum if and count if. Uh, again, if you go to my site, I'll have the link in the description down here in the video. You can scroll down, and I've got a download here, conditional formula, formula Excel file that you can go to, and you can work on that together, and that's the file I'll be working on up here. Let's go ahead and check it out. This should be a relatively quick lesson. What we're going to do here, sum if, it combines two functions. It combines sum, which if we all know sum, if I just go here and I say equals sum and just highlight them all, and it'll give me a value. Give me a value of 5, okay? Because, but you notice I have some negative numbers and positive, so the negatives are going to subtract. So let's say I only want to sum up the positive numbers. That's where the sum if function can come in. So I can just go here, I can type in sum if, always remember your, you know, about, you know start with a equal sign that will show you in a formula. Once you get here, it tells you what you want to do. So the first thing it wants is the range, just like a sum. So we're going to go in here and give it the range. And then remember, you can always work up here in the formula bar. I do a lot, I find it easier. Next thing we want is criteria. So the criteria we want to say is... is greater than zero. Now, how do we do this? It's it, we're, it's a little different here in the sum if because we don't have like a single line to compare against. So we just put just the other side of the formula. I'm sure you guys are used to uh, doing it where you've got the, you know, if A1 equals this, but we don't put the A1 because we have a range of A1. So we're saying for each value in this, check out this. And if that works, then I want you to sum this. So if A3 is greater than zero, add it to the list. If not, go to the next one. Four will be greater. We're going to add that to the list. So let's go ahead and just hit this and run. And notice this gives us eight. It gives us eight where a sum gave us five because in the list there's a negative two and a negative one, which gives you a negative three, which would subtract you from eight, would give you five. Okay. Another thing we can do is we can apply using wildcards. Wildcards work well in these count ifs and some ifs. They don't work so well in, uh, in if statements. They're a little more difficult. So the formula here for count if can start with equal, count if, and we're going to give it a range. First thing it wants is a range, as you see here. We go over here, it wants a range. Give it the range. We only want to count a name if it starts with the letter B, we'll say. Okay? So, put the, our quotes up. Oops. And I lost my... There you go. Put our quotes up here. B and asterisk. Asterisk is our wild card. Okay? So, see what it did there. It counted one, two, three names that started with B. So, again, the formula for that is the count if, the range, and then what you want. Obviously, you don't have to use a wild card. I could just just said Bob. You know, count if the name is Bob, and that would have given us two. But with the B asterisk, this is what the count, sum ifs and count ifs are good for giving me the wild card. All right, so again, this is kind of a quick lesson, but I sum if and count if I find very useful, especially when working with large files to trying to just determine how much is going on in each rec. I mean, because you get things with 300,000 rows, you're not going to try to count through that yourself. So these formulas are really good for that. All right, so again, thank you for joining me. Please check out my website, analyticsforall.org. Again, the description will be down in the, uh, I mean, the link will be down in the description. And please hit the like, subscribe button. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to do, any kind of more lessons you want me to teach. I'd be more than happy to make a video or, or a website thing for you. Uh, again, this is Analytics for All, and thank you for joining me.